And yeah, so I basically will be. Is this thing recording? Hello, yeah, darling. John John! Hi, sweetheart! Hi! How are you diddling? All right, a biddling. Yeah, I managed to get on. Oh my God, that was a sweaty five minutes. Well, it was weird <laughs> for me because I had suddenly had no service in my bedroom. Oh my so God. I had to go and run and get the hub. And now right. it seems to be working. So anyway. this is it. We, we're finally doing it. We're here now. Ash, <laughs> Ash has managed to get Chanel. This is fabulous. On a, on a Saturday night. Cheers Chanel, to that. Chanel, I love the way you're having a little sneaky g and then. Well, it doesn't look like a g and actually. What it's, are you having? It's actually, I'm, I'm You told me you were having a g and Now what? I'm going to pretend it's busy. It. Rib I'm going to pretend it's busy Ribena, but it's actually red wine and seven up. I know that's sacrilege, but I love it. Hello? Cheers. Come again? That sounds disgusting. It's delish. I love your background, Ash. Look at all your Thank toys. You. I know. I want to I want to get into that too. Wow. She's actually wearing a um, birthday hat today. Oh, this is crazy. I can't I can't I try to minimize the swearing because Shelly has uh, kids in there. But so I can't. does Janelle. You can't oh, okay. speak, we'll be listening in. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I can't believe I'm actually having both of my favorite Lara in one oh, one video. That's so lovely, Ash. Ooh, it's insane. Ooh, we're a bit overwhelmed. That's absolutely ridiculous, but uh, you know, we adore you and we're so happy to be here, honestly. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Ash, yeah. I feel like I know you. It's, I know we've never actually <laughs> met, but I feel like I know you so well. I'm loving, I'm loving the beard, Ash. Loving the thank look. Thank you. It's my new look, yes. Yeah. I feel like Conchita Verst from Eurovision. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I still have this, you know, where the letter you wrote me. Uh, there you go. Oh, Johnny, that's yours. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. Can you yes. read out that? Well, I only asked you to sign and you just oh, wrote me a whole letter. I, was, I, was, I went to Royal Mail to collect. I was like, I was like walking. I was like, fucking hell. Oh, my God. So sweet. <laughs> you have to read that to me. Yeah. How old were you then, Ash? When I played this. Um, well, yes. This was my first Tomb Raider game, and yeah. I played this at the age of 12. Oh. Uh, yeah. Johnny, can I just send something? Johnny, yes. these, these people, right, yeah. are playing computer games at 12 and 8 and 5. We just about what's up. We can just about what's up. Listen, I mean, it's ridiculous. I, Shelley and I spoke to each other actually on Zoom before this, and Shelley had to get her kids to come and tell her what to do. My 11-year-old had to come yeah. and show it's, it's so technophobe, Shelley. Come on, get to the <laughs> program. <laughs> I can't. I'm old school. I'm old fashioned like that. Johnny, can you believe it's been 25 years? No. But the game, um, this franchise has been around for 25 years. I couldn't, I couldn't believe, you know, the fandom. I had no idea that the, A, the game was still going, or B, you know, her global, you know, her iconism all over the world, you know, how, what a global star she was and how, how, how much the fans loved her and how it, she was still a thing. It was, it's wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> you two have been that's... friends for years. Yeah, yeah well. We go way back when. It would seem that way, not as long as you and I. Well, no. Six years. No Six one years. as long as you and I. We're like married, practically. We're, we're older than God, aren't we? Yeah. Um, <laughs> at this point unfortunately yeah it yeah. has been six years it has been six years six and years, yeah you then like in a year or two after that you registered on twitter you emailed me saying hi i think i registered on twitter because it's you shelly you can't do tech it was very yeah. very very sweet that it yeah it's it, weird the, pe it's the weird people have been getting the people that got in touch and started following me they're all so lovely you know we, we all follow each other and they're, they're just there's there's a, there's a crowd of them that are just so loyal and so so lovely, and I'm sure you find the same, Johnny, with with the people oh, that no, follow you totally. on Instagram. Really lovely people. A lot of love. people. How do you guys actually meet? Like both. I do. You say. You say. Wow. Oh my gosh. Well, it was 1996, and um, we both um, were doing a show in the West End, um, and it, it was called Elvis the Musical, and Shelley and I. <laughs> Shared your dressing room, didn't we, babe? Yeah, we did. We, if that dressing room could tell stories. <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah, we, we were all singing, all dancing, weren't we? And we were backing singers and dancers. Yeah. And yeah. You know, I just remember, you know, even in, the, even in the rehearsals, you know, Johnny looking so spectacular in these tight, silky I, pants. And 
Um, a little Elvis top about. and a tight little You belt. were the one wearing the silky, like, tight Olivia Newton-John pants. Oh, yeah, you had the silky, pants. you had the skirt, the, 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 the tight, skirt tight, tight skirt. Work in. You had the tight but skirt, it was like that. Let alone kick oh, my leg. Little Elvis top. Oh, you were delicious. You were absolutely delicious. <laughs> little blue, a little blue scarf, something like that. Little blue something here. You were, you were gorgeous. But we, we hit it off straight away, didn't we? No, we did. We, we did. just... We both got a silly sense of humour. Silly so, sense of humour. And, yeah, uh, yeah she just... Edible, you are edible. I love the sense of ridiculous. But... <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't stopped, has it really? We, we just seem to follow each other around though, Shelley, don't yeah. we? Like we're the same agent. That's what I love. We, yeah, our, the same our kids have been working together. Yeah, which is amazing. And um, um, and then I like to see you. It doesn't happen a lot, but when I do get to see you at voiceover gigs, it's just like no time has passed. Yeah, we have a gas. I mean, yeah. we don't actually live that far away from each other. We, we don't. Do. No, but we're a stone's life, throw away. Life gets in the way. Life Not that we've been allowed to see each other. No, but life does get in the way. Sacrilege. I did thought that you were the same person because Chronicles <laughs> was my first game. Now and listen, I don't... why did you call us Chanel? What about Jelly? Uh, yeah, that was actually also suggested to me. Uh, but no, Chanel was suggested to me by someone called Aya Winters on Twitter. She was like, oh, it's Chanel. Uh, he is. Uh, Chanel. And then I was like, oh, that's better than Jelly. So I will go Ash, with that. Ash, you can't handle this jelly. <laughs> I can. <laughs> I lived in an apartment with two lesbians and five cats. I can handle anything. <laughs> you can handle us. <laughs> so, so yes. Ash, are you in Manchester now? Is that yes? Is that what you this, is, this is my house. I <laughs> love. How long I love all it your stuff. For you to get your tomb together. <laughs> um, not that long actually. When I bought a house. Uh, my deal was that I'll buy it uh, before I turn 30. Yeah. Um, I'm Very 18 good. now. I'm Amazing. 18 now. Oh, wow. But I basically bought it two days before I turned 30, literally. Amazing. Um, All your dreams came through. I do ha own a house, Amazing. but like it's in a crappy place. So we're, we're not talking about that. Uh, but yeah, this was my my first house here in UK. And after, I, when I was buying it, I was like, right, so this is... This is what I'm getting. You can't really see, but there is um, still um, sparkly, uh, glowy thingy still like on above the door, which I can't get bloody rid of. It says, I leave a trail of sparkle wherever I go. This oh, is, was obviously <laughs> daughter's room. It was I pink. It was bloody <laughs> pink. So, I mean, it looks fabulous. It looks it amazing. What's, what's going on outside. It's what's going on inside. And there's yes. a lot going on inside, which is so cool. Wow. Where'd you get all, all, all this stuff? This um, yeah. Well, this one was uh, from Peter Connolly, your, uh, the guy who recorded you. you know? yeah. uh, so this yeah. was a gift from him on his birthday. Very <laughs> so, generous. Um, wow. The way he transformed it was hilarious. There's actually a picture of him uh, standing uh, outside doing because he went to London to do some work on his car and there's just them two standing discussing something and Laurie... Shelley will know Laurie. Uh, yeah. Like she took a photo. And there's basically a woman's leg popping out Sticking outside out. the boot, and it just looks <laughs> so dodgy. That's it's ridiculous. Um, what work did you guys do together? Let's go back to the interview. Um, we did a musical called Elvis the Musical. So it was the story of Elvis through the years, from young Elvis, middle-aged Elvis, and you know, nearly dead Elvis. And um, <laughs> we, we were we were the um, we were the Elvis girls. It was a very male orientated, obviously, uh, show. But we we were in every situation. We were the backing singers, or the or his dancers, or young fans, or what have you. And um, we did the we Beverly did that... Sisters, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. The Beverly we did, Sisters. We, did we do that yeah. for six years, uh, six months. Was it, was it six months? We did it for six months. Yes. Yeah. And, and, the and then, of course, we went to Finland after that, didn't we? We toured we Finland. Yeah. Yes, we did, did we a little went mini Finland. tour over there. Yeah, that was now that was fun. cold. That was <laughs> icicles. Um, yeah, we did we did that for six months, um, and it was it was it was just great fun being in the West End. You know, as young Wendy's we're called. You know, back there, you know, West End Wendy's. It, it was just so much fun. Was it? Was it? What was it called? The Prince Edward? I can't remember the Prince Edward Theatre. Wales. Prince of Wales. Wales. I knew that. I knew there was royalty in, in Piccadilly. There. Yeah, I, I was I was at the Piccadilly for only the lonely, but yes. Um, Prince, of, Prince of Wales, and it was just so much fun to be in town, you know, being I mean, in the it, West it, End. It was mental, wasn't it? Because we used to do like two shows a day on the Friday oh and the my Saturday. Days. 
back to back. And thank God there was a McDonald's across the road. And I think we lived Which in we spent day. most of our time. I, we we took on the Elvis thing healthy. of eating burgers. Of that period, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think I... Well, they made quite a lot of money out of us, didn't they? They really did. <laughs> It was it was great fun. It was really great yeah. fun. And then since then, we've seen each other, you know, around doing our voiceovers. You know, we tend to meet up doing doing voices. Not not a lot, but a bit. Um, uh, this is yeah. this is actually one of my questions. Disney. Di what, what, oh oh oh. Disney. Yeah, Disney. We we both do promos for Disney. Disney. So we used to and see each other there, didn't and we? At global the studios. radio. Global and radio. Global radio. Global. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then of course at the Yak yeah. Christmas parties, which which haven't been happening at the minute because of COVID, but. Oh, no. Yeah, we have a little tipple there, don't we, together? A raucous time, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, we do bump into each other. I mean, it's, it, you know, London seems like a big place, but it's it's really ever so small, it's, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. How many times have you around Soho and we just bump into so yeah. many people that we know? Absolutely. It's like a little village. Mm. Um, but yeah, and I'm, I'm really missing it, aren't you, Shelley? It's, um, I just, yeah. It's great I mean, we can work at home, but it's It's fantastic we can work from home and also, you know, roll out of bed and just do it. But I miss, yeah. I miss the contact and I even miss the smelly people on the train, you know, going on the train and being <laughs> up, up close to... And, you know, the, the interaction, the social interaction, I miss very much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, we it? are lucky. Lucky to be working, but it is yeah. Yeah, strange times. Yeah. Was it just a coincidence that you both voiced... Um, the yeah yeah pretty much yeah, yeah it was I mean I I well for me I obviously I'd heard about it because working with Shelley she'd mentioned that that she was doing this new game and you know games were sort of they'd really only kind of really just started hadn't it, it was like mm. the voiceover artists getting involved and mm. Um, I it was a few years after I'd worked with Shelley that um, I just got a phone call from my agent saying mm. that um, a, a producer that I'd worked with previously on a couple of other games uh, was looking for a Lara Croft for Eidos. And um, yeah, so they just called me in for an audition. But yeah, I remember phoning Shelley and saying, Yeah, you oh did. God, guess what? Guess you know what? That, that, that just shows you. Lara what, Croft. What, what that shows you what a type of a person Janelle is because you know especially in the in the actors world you know she could when people sell sell their own grandmothers you know for a role you know she could have just done the role and not told me and I'd have heard and I'd be that's odd she didn't say anything but she rang me without accepting it first she rang me and said how would you feel and I, I first of all it was quite an odd question because for me you know, the world is anyone's oyster. You know, if you get the opportunity to do something, you should. But I th it shows so much of what a good person Janelle is that she considered my feelings to ask me first, is it okay with you if I do the role that you started? And of course the answer is yes, go for it. Go, you know, go all guns blazing. <laughs> but I just thought it just lovely of Janelle to, to even consider asking me. That shows oh, what she's you, like. Shelley. Love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> Mind you, uh, I want to confirm that not only me thought you were the same person, Laurie also thought you were the same oh, person. Oh, really? Who wow. did? Uh, Laurie is, our, Laurie. Is, uh, is my friend who runs a website called Survival Reborn. Uh, she's also a streamer. She probably follows you on Instagram. And uh, <laughs> we, 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 we first met, well, like when I first went to meet Shelly, I was like, I'm going to take Laurie just so Shelly is not freaked out to meeting just a man on somewhere. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, she also thought I love that going too. out and meeting a man somewhere. I mean, <laughs> meeting strange men. Any so do I. Really? So do I. So do I. We all do. <laughs> Different reasons. <laughs> uh, did Miss Blonde give you any advice on how to approach the role by any chance, Janelle? Well, she I, I get, well, Shelley was really sweet because she was just like, "Go for it." Um, you know, she gave me her blessing, and um, you know, obviously. I, I do remember you, Shelley, actually saying, oh, they don't really want me to do much sort of intonation and, yeah. you know, but she's like a real sort of cool character cool and, cat, yeah. you know, I but wanted your, to give a bit more. Yeah, yours extra. seemed much more, yours seemed much more oomphy than mine. I think, I yeah. think as time went on, they allowed her to develop in her in her in her character you know in in her character in the way she spoke and the way she you sounded a little bit more um full of personality was that was that the way for you did they allow you more to do what you wanted to do or was it like me and they kept saying pull it back pull it back um, i don't remember them sort of saying pull it back but the, it was you know when i started doing it i i was also doing 
the young Lara as well. Ah. So, I mean, I obviously took on board what you did. Um, mm. And, you know, and they sort of, you know, directed me along the way. Um, yeah. You know, of course. You, you don't sort of... I didn't really think too much of it, to be honest with you, because you just get the script, don't you? And yeah. you're, just, you're thrown in for like four or five days. I think it might yeah. have been a week. And Mine um, was a day. Mine was five hours. Was it a day? <laughs> five you're hours. kidding me. Wow. Hours. Yeah. Janelle did have way more uh, lines yeah. in How the first game. Play you. <laughs> <laughs> No, to be fair, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't much to mine. And uh, <laughs> frankly, to made a four, which Janelle started with, it had a completely different scriptwriter and also a completely different uh, sound person and music. Gotcha. Like Connolly. So he had a completely different approach. So right. this is why Janelle was allowed to be more... Uh-huh. Uh, more freedom. Yeah. But freedom. It, it was like yeah. a film script, you know. Yeah. It was like oh, wow. the script, you know, as opposed to here's some... Um, sort of like little sound bites and stuff. I mean, still had to do the waller bank and everything. Yeah. The... No, my, mine was like a, a list of maybe 20 lines, literally. Right. Like, but, but, and, and, and that took maybe 40 minutes, I'm going to say an hour. The rest of it, four hours worth of, you know. <laughs> Did they tell you what was going on with yeah. the, like, the story, yeah. the, the premise? Yeah. And... yeah. Do you yeah. know, I've got, I've got such a regret from, from Tomb Raider, um, and that is... Why? Well, it's not a bad thing, um, but, you know, everybody documents everything now and I have mm. no documentation of that time. I wish I'd had the foresight to, you know, take pictures on my phone or take a video or steal a script or, um, you know, really document who was in the room and everything about it. The studio, I, don't, I can't remember the studio. I don't room. think we could even take pictures on our phone back then, babe. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. Well, I had my camera though. I could have done it, could have done it that way. Yeah, you but, were actually but, really good with photos. I, I remember got... in Elvis, you were like the only one who had like a camera in the bag and, Johnny, and took I'm loads like of pictures. I'm like a paparazzi, honestly. Um, but I don't, I didn't think, you see, I didn't know it was going to be a big thing. I just thought it was another gig. Even Idos mm. and Cor didn't know it was going to be a big thing. I remember no. them saying to me, we've only ever done a children's game before. We've got wow. no experience with adult games. We don't yeah. know how it's going to do, but let's do yeah. this. And if it goes into another one, we'll ask you back. I mm. wish I'd thought to take pictures, really note who was there, keep maybe the sketches of her that I was faxed over for the audition. Do you know what I mean? Little things like yeah. that. I yeah. wish I'd done that. Oh. But I mean, to, to be honest, it was, you know, more like the writer that was taking pictures and the people that were in the studio that were taking pictures. They're the ones that I've got that just we, surfaced on the internet. Yeah. No, we had none um, of that. Nobody I, was, I was rubbish as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but, but by the time Janelle got in, it was already kind of a big thing. Uh, the film was coming out uh, with right. Jean and Jolly. So that, this is where the um, marketing people were insisting on getting all, everything documented so they could, right. I assume, I yeah. could be wrong here. Yeah. Uh, you probably you... know more about it than we do. Yeah. <laughs> we just literally were voiceover artists going in and doing a job, weren't we? Yeah. And like, mm. you know. Uh, it's still nice to, to have your input. Yeah, but, to have but your input. she's right. You know, before I joined Twitter or before I got your messages, I had no clue. I don't know about you, Johnny. Mm. I had no clue about the love for her. No, I, I, I mean, I, I didn't like six months ago. I was like, yeah. you know, it's 20 years ago. Who's going to remember me? Or, yeah. you know, I, I was shocked. It's unbelievable that people still, you know, have a love for yeah. my games, obviously, because, yeah. you know, the new games now are just so oh. much more advanced, aren't they? And yeah. The Angel of Darkness is probably one of the most loved and hated at the same time. In this yeah, I know, it's because... got its haters. Then. Yeah, it's because well, it was not finished, and this yeah. is this is basically the reason. But we'll but, come you know, back to all they're that. all going to have their they're all going to have their phase. You know, some people are going to like my game the most because it's the it's the original, yeah. it's the classic, the original. You know, and because it looks so weird, you know, weird and old yeah. school. Um, others are going to like Camilla because it's so modern and it's now, and it's yeah. you know, it looks so filmic. Others are going to like it depends where you came in at. It depends yeah. where you started the game at and it depends where your memories are. But, yeah. you know, I have people saying, you know, I used to play your game with my father or, you know, mm -hmm. and, and so the memories are all linked up in the childhood with parents or brothers and sisters, what have you. But, um, but uh, you know what I love as well? There's only love between the Laras. You know, mm. I, I, I've never met 
uh, Keely, Camilla or Judith, but there's been only, only positive vibes as there should be. And exactly. we're all just, you know, actors that got lucky, the voice actors yeah. that got lucky to voice this fantastic iconic role. And yeah. um, it's amazing, 25 years on, amazing. I can't I'm believe gonna, it's years. I'm gonna bring you back to, the, to your Elvis days. Um, since you both are like, you know, singers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, would, what would you say maybe recording a duo song together? Uh, actually a trio since, you know, Natalie Cook, the original Ara model is also a singer. True that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's this uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'll be happy to do it. I'll be happy yeah. to do it. Jan Janelle not? and I have sung harmonies together many a time. We have. Yeah, yeah. In fact, we were, we, in, we, also, in a little, we were in a little band together, weren't we, after Elvis? With yeah, Jennifer we were in Bob's colleagues. band. Bob, yeah. Bob, the Guild of Thieves. Yeah. The Guild uh, of Thieves. We met Bob doing Elvis as well. One of the most talented men, Bob Golding, one of the most talented men I know. And he had a band called the Guild of Thieves with all the Elvis guys on, on you know, on their, on their, <laughs> on their instruments and Johnny and I doing backing vocals. And we were like the commitments, singing. weren't we? It was we, were, we, like without, we were like the commitments without any commitment yeah. um, <laughs> uh, at all. <laughs> uh, but it, that was that was so much fun as well. Yeah, going really around was. to gigs. You know, you know, weddings were mixed. We about that school. one, didn't we? Yeah, you know, that we was about those little gigs as well. Oh, that was amazing! Amazing fun. Yeah, <laughs> we, we should get that song. We should get that song sorted then. Uh, yeah, and then you know what would happen? I will actually put it in my will to play it at my funeral, so I can die happy. Oh uh, God! Please, a long, a long, long time from now. Uh, yeah, well, yes, but I mean, I, think I, I, should, I yeah. like to be prepared. So. <laughs> I will not come prematurely, but I want to be prepared. So <laughs> that came out wrong, but okay. Uh, <clears throat> and so, um, who is the better singer? Oh, Shelley, definitely. Shelley, definitely. Shelley. <laughs> Shelley. <laughs> Shelley. I'm joking. I'm joking. I think we're equally as good. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't we're know. Both, we're both different, aren't we? We're but, very um, different. As, as singers, I, I think, I mean, Shelley can, honestly, those... She, you used to sing that Tina Turner song, River, I, see, I, I love a bit of high, Tina. And yeah. uh, every time I hear it, it reminds me of you. Do you know every time that's my that, that's my respect and River Deep Mountain High are yeah. my two songs. That every time do you want to do it now? Do you want to do it now? <laughs> oh, all I can, oh, you, you put me on the spot when I oh, we -E ask me ECT, find out what it means to me. Oh, we -E ask me ECT, take care of TCP. Is that okay? Fucking <laughs> hell, <laughs> amazing. That's on the spot. That's on the spot. She, see, she is a true diva. She is, she is, oh my God, she is. Like her entire oh. life is an act. She likes to act. Oh it's my her God. stage. It's the stage. What about you, Janelle? Do you want to no, do this? No, no. Why not? Why not? Why not? I've, Why not? I've, I'm literally sitting here sober. I've got no alcohol with me. No, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> okay. Maybe another oh time. God. Okay, okay. Uh, I will come back to that. Before Tomb Raider, did any of you worked on uh, video games before? Yes. Yes. You go first, John. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. I, I did a couple of um, CD-ROM games. So I did one called City of Lost Children, where I played a young um, seven-year-old called Miette. What about the Watchmen, then? How many are there? And um, it's taken from a film, quite a famous film, sort of back in the sort of mid-90s. Um, and so I, I played that part and that is how I met the producer um, who went on to produce me in Tomb Raider. Uh, and I also did another game for him as well um, called City, uh, sorry, uh, The Island of Dr. Moreau, uh, where I played um, Dr. Moreau's wife. So, um, yeah, I, I did a couple. I just had a little couple little of games taster. before I did a lot of them. Yeah, a little no, taster. I did. Um, what about I did you, black, Shelley? Black, black, black and white. That was after. Up, I think I came after Tomb Raider. Yes, um, a, a video game called Black and White, and I played all the female characters on on in that game. I think it might have been fifteen. I'm not sure. Oh wow! So yeah. So there you know, is far more than fifteen. <laughs> There's is there? you, like entire because you have play you as a god. Ah. Yeah, it's my one of my favorites. Greetings, Holy One. You've activated a gold story scroll. My name is Sable. 
I am a trainer of creatures. So that was what's that was, it about? What, what, what is it about? Well, you're a god, and you basically try to uh, <laughs> fight an evil god. And you can be either good god, which is black, uh, which is white, or black one, which is bad. And you have okay. a creature, which is like your kind of physical representation. I normally go with a horse, and which is funny because the horse will become like super good. It will be like turn into unicorn because it's so nice. Whilst my eye will be quite evil person and I'll have like very evil hand because you control everything with a hand. <laughs> I don't know. It's always been like that. Yes, I remember but... the hand thing. I remember the hand thing. Yeah. yeah. But that's, love... um, yeah, that was good. I yeah, I'm going to play it he next. He knows everything you've done. <laughs> he Shelley. knows everything. It's amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Well, you told me about black and white because I did not know. You didn't know it's it. me, but you know the whole yeah. game inside out. It's amazing. What was great about black and white, and obviously, again, I can't really remember anything about it. Um, but what I can remember is it was, uh, it's always amazing as a voiceover artist to, to be able to do different voices. You know, Lara Croft was my voice, but you know, yeah. trying to keep any emotion or oomph out of it. But with uh, black and white, I was able to do accents and, you know, silly voices. And that's that, that's what we love, isn't it? As a and you're artist. so good yeah. at that, Shelley. Yeah. We both, yeah. We, we, you know, we both love to do it. Um, yeah. And thank you, Johnny. And um, it was, yeah, that, that's more, that's fun to do. What are you drinking there, Ash? It's Is Pepsi it Max. I don't drink alcohol. Oh, okay. I don't like alcohol. Yeah. Well, I do, do like WKDs when like I'm I, I hate alcohol. Uh, yes. <laughs> Interesting lies. So uh, video games, how yeah. different of a skill set it is to your normal like voiceover jobs and acting? Hmm. No, what, sorry. What, what, what kind of skill sets did you say? Yes. How different is it? Um... Well, like Shelley said, you know, you might get to play multiple characters. So they, you know, they want somebody versatile, I suppose. Um, <laughs> I, I, it, it differs, I suppose, in, I mean, like when you do a cartoon series, so I've done a few cartoon series in the past and, and you invariably get to sit with your fellow actors. Whereas a video game, you don't, do you, Shelley? Mm. You just go in a room, you're on your own. Yeah. Um, Apart from, I have to say, when I did The Angel of Darkness, I, I was with fellow actors there like Joss Ackland and, you know, a, but most of the time you go in singularly, don't you? You just mm. get the, the script in front of you and you just have yeah. to kind of roll it off. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's the same with, um, you know, you have to still, you have to put your actor's hat on and you're still acting a yeah. role. But you're not you're not dressed as the character, you know. You're not you, you know all the stuff that goes into making a film isn't there. You know, makeup artist, costume, all that. But you're still doing the same job because you've got to get in the mindset, or you know. Exactly, you have to be open minded, don't you? Yeah, like kind of yeah. Whatever they throw at you, you yeah. just have to kind of deal yeah. with. Absolutely. So you might go in and you might be playing one character, or and then suddenly they'll throw three or four more at you, and you're yeah. like, okay. Fine. Yeah. I'm going to try this to see if this yeah. works. So I suppose it is just being open and versatile. Versatile, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's talk about Madam Thursday Girl here. Happy uh, birthday, about... Lara. Yes. Happy will... birthday. Yes, it is her birthday. And there you go. She's happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's talk about She's this lady here. Light. I was talking to a friend of mine on Twitter, hi Adam, uh, and we basically got this interesting theory going that the main reason why uh, we, she will stop flashing in a minute, the main reason, <laughs> she likes to flash, the main reason why we like the, um, we have such an attachment and like, well, we like the classic original Lara that you both have played, um, or portrayed rather, is because she pretty much, she's kind of like a human being in a sense that she pretty much has it all, just like, you know, Little Mermaid, uh, but who cares? No big deal. I want more, you know, even though she has it all, basically. She has all the things, all the pretty stuff, uh, but she still wants more, just like we do in a way that, you know, oh, I'm going to buy myself a car and that would be all great. You buy a car and you're still like, Ugh, you know, you still feel depressed. So um, did you even, like, what, what's your take on this and did you ever feel like there's so much kind of potential depth to the character that you are portraying in 
Um, I media. didn't. I didn't actually think about it like that. That she still wants more. I thought maybe it was more that she has everything and she doesn't really want all that. Yeah, that, I said that, that too. She, yeah, I mean, you know, she's background. Yeah, yeah, she's got all the riches. She's got, she's got, got all the education, but actually, yeah. she just wants to shove on a backpack boots and get out in the muck and be free. Know. Yeah, yeah. A free spirit. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, did you, any of you had any inputs on Lara's portrayal at all when you were doing the work? John, you go. Um, I, because it's such a long time ago, I just think that I just went in and I, I had a pretty good idea of, you know, before I sat down and, and read her lines, what she was like, probably because I had already seen the Laras and heard the Laras, because obviously, you know, they were in the public domain and talked about. Um, I, I just remember just, you know, being led by the producer, you know, just reading, just doing what I was told, really, in a, in a sense. Um, I don't know. I, um, I might have sort of said, oh, can I try it a few different ways? This, you know, because you do as a voiceover artist, don't you, Shelley? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you, get, you, you do get to try things out. But I, I don't sort of remember thinking, oh, yeah, I really you know, put my own stamp on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, had, I didn't have that at all. Like that's that's um, one of the only jobs I've ever done where I haven't been able to put my own stamp and where yeah. I, I literally did exactly as I was told. And any time I mm -hmm. tried to sneak in a little bit of personality or a bit, of, a bit more sass or sexiness or what have you, they said, ah, you know, we noticed that, pull it back. So um, <laughs> no, I had to just, I had to just, focus on on what, what exactly what they wanted which at the end of the day is our job right John yeah we've got yeah, to do yeah, what yeah. they want you can't go in you know all no. and singing and dancing if that if they don't want that so yeah in all fairness you can actually hear that because Janelle sounds exactly like she does in the game she, except for she pronounced words more in, with a posher accent in the yeah. game but but the voice is kind of the same whilst yeah. you Shelley you sound completely different in real well, life to be fair it was 25 years ago, so I just think I sounded very young. When I listen to it now, it's, it sounds very dull and very, very young. Um, mm. Yeah, dull is what I would, I've always You would never you know. sound dull, darling. Oh, thank you, darling. Uh, but but when, I, <laughs> when I hear Lara's, you know- when Get we, a we, room. We, we fans, you were so we're fans. sassy in that role, I don't think so. Mate. No, you, lines of hers were sassy. You were but like a sassy I, Terminator, you know? <laughs> When I when I get things sent by fans, you know, listen to this clip or what have you, I'm just going, oh, 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 oh. I hate the voice, you know, I, I can't sound the voice. But um, listen, I did, I, I gave them what they wanted. Yeah, you know, but that's that is what we do, isn't it? That that what we is, do, babes. you know, it's our job. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Janelle exactly. had the sassiest Larry in all fairness. Yeah, you had some sassy lines. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember any of your lines, I John? Write the lines. You do, know. do you remember any of your lines? I know it's something to do with coconuts. If <laughs> only I had a coconut. <laughs> that one. When the lunatic said something that like that. Really oh, there is one not. where uh, the uh, writer, Murty Schofield, well, actually wanted to use the C word, but obviously because of <laughs> censoring, he used, uh, he, instead of that, he said runt. So Gina goes, oh, you brilliant. are save her a little runt. Do you know brilliant. what though? It's so funny because I do say that word to my dog. I call him a little runt because he's. Do you so want to say that? Do you want to say and that I line? Did. Go on, say the line. Say the line, John. Oh, what, what, what was it again? Um, you unsavor a little runt. Oh yes, you unsavory little runt. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> the feels. <laughs> <laughs> right in the feels. What do you think uh, about Lara Croft's impact on female representation? Well, she was she was the first protagonist, wasn't she? The first female protagonist. One of she? the very first, yeah. Yeah, and I think that was, even though I'm not a gamer, as we all know, um, I think that was pretty mind blowing that that a game would come along that would be such a global seller with a female in the lead yeah. in the lead role, and she's as loved by men as she is by women. So everybody is, there's something about her that everybody has taken, taken her to their hearts. You yeah. know, uh, it's, 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 it's quite amazing that, that she was such a, a, a seller being a woman, you know, at the, game, at the front of gaming, you know. Exactly, no, she yeah. was. You think what, you know, Batman, Spider-Man. Yeah. I mean, had a bit of Wonder Woman, didn't we? 
yeah. back in our the day. Yeah, the fact Jenny. that men wanted to buy that, <laughs> the fact that men wanted to buy a game with a woman at the forefront yeah. was amazing. In all fairness, I was biased for that as well. When, I, when everyone was playing Tomb Raider 2, I was like, what yeah. you thought? You thought, what, why you, you thought? Why are you watching it? Because it's a woman. Yeah, I was like, what, no. What, why are you playing? What, what are you playing? This, what? What? What is this? I was playing different kind of games at the time, and then when I got my first PC in 2000, I was like, I'm gonna buy myself a CD. So I went and bought Tomb Raider Chronicles, and I was like, fucking, oh, this is amazing. Uh, I was stuck <laughs> for literally 24 hours on the first wow. level. So that's how my introduction to and then obviously I played all the previous games and so yeah. this is when I thought how long does it take to complete the game sorry Ooh, uh, for me it oh. took to, uh, well it depends which game we're talking uh, Angel of Darkness would definitely take me a couple of days wow uh, yeah Chronicles would take at least 10 hours to me I, tr I did a live stream on that on my birthday because you know That's my first quick. game you know stuff <laughs> Well, wow. like I finished like half of it in four hours and I was failing badly also. I was like going all very emotional, like all crying and stuff because it's my, wow. first, my first game. I was remembering myself, you know, uh, frankly, Tomb Raider, you know, if not for Tomb Raider, I wouldn't be in England because I learned English because of you, Janelle. No way. Yep. Yep. That's How long have you been in England? It's going to be 10 years in March. So, yeah. And, yeah. and what, what was, was it? Was it? Shelly and I that brought you here. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. His first yes. words, his first English words were you unsavory little frog. <laughs> I, I was like, I was so word. confused. I, <laughs> I was so confused by her accent because I never heard, because always you, uh, America, media is dominated with Americans normally. Yeah. So I was very confused with Janelle's accent. I was like, I want to know what she's saying. So I was like looking up words and things like that's how I kind of, I always say I had like high school, we learned English, but it was awful. Uh, but That's incredible yeah. to learn a language from a TV show or a video game. I said, that's amazing. Yes, yeah, skills as well, 3D software, all that stuff, all because of Tomb Raider. I learned. Wow. I moved to England because of Tomb Raider as well. And frankly, uh, my first friends, like because I, I was bullied as a child, let's not even go there, I don't want to focus on that. Uh, but um, basically, in, I think it was my 15th birthday, I believe, so 2003. Angel of Darkness came out then. Uh, I got my internet and I was Aww. like, no one came to my birthday because, you know, no one liked me in high school. Uh, and yeah, oh, I know. But, you know, I, 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 I was I going, um, yeah, I was, I was actually having a very bad time because my family was very abusive and all that stuff. So mm. obviously being gay is illegal in my country. So that didn't help. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I remember oh, talking to my friend uh, from MSN Hikers. So you'll be watching this because she absolutely loves Shirley Blonde. Oh. I don't know why I said your Kirstie. name. There. Do it again. Do it again. Kirstie. There you go. Uh, yes. Yeah. So uh, I was talking to her on MSN, which was a messenger at the time, till six o'clock in the morning, my time, because I basically, I was well prepared. I went in and bought myself rat poison because I want to kill myself. I was literally I can't bear what I'm hearing. Yeah. I can't bear yeah. What I'm hearing. I know. Yeah, well, I can talk about it now. I'm not like that anymore. But uh, back then, like literally, if like you can't think that if not for Tomb Raider, I would actually met Kirsty on forums, and it could be it could have ended differently, you know. So, yes. See, this is what I've heard from a lot of people that Lara was an escape. Um, at whatever stage they were at in their life, whether it was school like you or, or home life or what have you, that they were either bullied or very depressed or in, in an abusive relationship somehow. And Lara was their escape. So that's, a, that's incredible to hear. And, uh, you know, I, if it's my games that, that they're involved with, that's wonderful to know that, that I was part of, of their healing or escape or what have you. That's... Um, that's an incredible thing to take on. I've also yeah. noticed that you're all really supportive to one another. Like you all yeah. kind of know each other, mm. like the community. Yeah, there's actually a um, good story there. When we were doing 20 years of Tomb Raider for Play Expo, we, I received a message from someone saying, Lara taught me that, um, uh, I can't remember exactly, but basically uh, the person was a woman, but she was born as a man. Uh -huh. And she realized that she was a woman by playing Tomb Raider. Whoa! I can't remember exact words, but this is how it was. Whoa! Yeah. 
Wow. Amazing. I, I think some of the stories are absolutely amazing, really. Lovely yeah. to hear. Yeah, really lovely. It's insane. Well, look, basically, you, were, you guys were creating a powerful woman at yeah. a time when Spice Girls and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it yeah. was, wasn't it, Shelley? Yeah. yeah. That, that, was, that. that was an amazing time to be, to be 25, 26 then at those yeah. times. That was, a, that was a great time for a girl, wasn't it? It's yeah. Spice Girls fan. Yeah. Great Spice Girls fan. Oh, and I, do you know what? And I, and I, um, I only just discovered, and I can't remember how. Was it from you, Ash? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure that, that they were playing Tomb Raider on the Spice Bus in the film. Fascist slave driver bossing us about all the time. Yeah, let's yeah. just escape. So really, I, I've performed with the Spice Girls. <laughs> Spice Girls. <laughs> you were the sixth Spice Girl. I was. Yeah. Yeah. The fab, fab Spice. Fabulous Spice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yes, could could yeah. have replaced, you know, Victoria. She's, she was quite useless. Uh, do you think voicing such an iconic character as Lara had any impact on your careers? Personally, no. But you, you, you go ahead, John. I don't think so, no, yeah. either. Because, like, we keep going back to is that we're jobbing voiceover artists. Yeah. Um, and literally, you you know, you're as good as your last job, aren't you? So you just, yeah. you, know, you finish your job and you're moving on very swiftly on to the next one. Yeah. Um, no like one's ever day. said, to, no one's ever said to me, oh, we got you in because you're the voice of Lara, or could you do that? No. You know, slightly no. with your Lara Croft voice, never. It's never, no. it's never really been brought up. It's just a nice thing to have on your CV. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it really is. Uh, you know, just, I went just, in. Kind I'm of nice called... little kudos to say, oh, I did. Yeah. Craft yeah have you done any video yeah. games? Oh, yeah, well, I've done a game. I don't know if you've heard of it. Two way yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, oh. But, um, yeah, it's, it hasn't had an impact on my career. Uh, no. no. Okay. Did you guys play any games you voiced? No. I never have, no. A big you, resounding. You just did, you no. just, she just did the Lara Snow there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you did. You did. No, no. <laughs> absolutely not. No, I'm not a gamer uh, at all. I know you're not either, no. John. Not a gamer. No. So. But did you at least watch any of them? Like all the yes. footage of the game. Yes. I I was saying to Shelley literally the other day that I had never, until I joined Instagram with you know the community, I'd mm. never seen any of the. But any of the bits of the game at all. Mm. Um, so it's it, it literally, I hate to, this to sound corny, but it has been a bit of a revelation. Yeah, absolutely. To, <laughs> you know, to see those things now, you know, 20, you know, five years later, uh, 20 years later. Yeah. Yeah, it's unbelievable. My, my son has just discovered Tomb Raider and Lara Croft, and um, he watched on, um, on YouTube. There's a five oh, hour. He thinks you're so cool, Shelley. He, 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 honestly, the look in his eyes, John, he's like, Mummy, that's you. He can't believe yeah, it. Finally, yeah. I'm, finally I'm cool. Um, I know. But yeah. he, he, he watched the five, there's a five hour walkthrough of, that's a speed of, on YouTube. Run. Huh? That, would be a speed run. that would be the speed run. That's as fast yeah, as so you can play. He's watched it all five hours. And he's convinced he's played the game. He thinks oh, he's played it. Oh, yeah, it's very sweet. Very sweet. Uh, let's say hello to Norse chick who said to say hello, Janelle, because she's oh, I word. love Norse chick. Where is she? America. Have you got her hiding in your tomb somewhere. <laughs> no, she's in America. We never she met. Pop up? Where is We're she? We never met. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure. In California. Uh, yeah, probably. California. Yeah. yeah. We never met. We never met, but we might one day. Oh, she is absolutely wonderful. I love her. She's, she's so talented. She's made so much music, um, Shelley. Really? Um, I see her name come up a lot on Twitter. Yes. We play, we yes. play games together sometimes when they nice. live stream. Yeah. I think I she is a lovely community. You, I love that. But she writes songs, Shelley, and she's written loads like about Lara. Oh, how funny. And her lyrics. Are incredible. Oh, I'd and like to hear some. The game, and she's like sampled my voice, and then she sings Brilliant. songs, and she plays like several different instruments. Fantastic! What a she's talent. really talented. Yeah. So you got a little question from her, or? No, no, no. Just, just, just to acknowledge that she exists. <laughs> oh God! I, I absolutely adore that that girl. I really do. I want to 
do some work with her. <laughs> <laughs> you shall. You heard it here might first. Do, we might do a collaboration. You, you heard it here first. Uh, you were just saying that you uh, watched um, well, some footage and stuff like that. You probably seen yourself in TV shows or film or even heard your voice in adverts. So how different is to um, see yourself being like, you know, the main protagonist per se, rather than just like a voiceover in somewhere else or because here you are this iconic kind of character, it's kind of different. So how, how do you feel this difference? I can't word. I can't English today. No, I it's weird that. because I, I think thought. because we're not gamers, we've never really seen it, have we, Shelley? No. So, to, to me, I, it's the same thing. Like if I see a clip of myself, uh, myself, if I see a clip of Lara on YouTube with my voice, it's the same to me as if I hear an advert for Galliard on the radio. Yeah, you know, to me, it's yeah, just like exactly. It was, a, it was a gig, and oh, that's me. How yeah. lovely, brilliant, and move on. You know, it's yeah. it's um yeah. Surreal. It's, it is, it is yeah, you just kind of, well, when I listen to it, I'm just like, oh my God, that's, that's young me. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you don't sound any different. That's the oh, thing. It's baby. Oh, no, she sounds much younger. It's, 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 it's baby. We're, we're baby versions of ourselves now. <laughs> you, you don't sound, when you Shelley do Lara, you don't sound any different. You just need really? to... I just need to, because the voiceover in Tomb Raider 1, it was recorded in a weird quality. So if you do the same quality, you sound the same if, when you wow. do Lara. Wow. Well, Janelle sounds the same now. To me. <laughs> right. Really? To my ears, at least. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You have some time machine going on. Tell me. <laughs> yeah. She hasn't changed since the day I met her. She's still a, still, a, still a skinny stick. And, no, uh, and, and an absolute beauty. <laughs> Shelley, I, yes. we saw what? each other, didn't we, just before we, we got online with, with Ash, yeah. and I was like, you look like you just stepped out of a salon. <laughs> Meanwhile, i just come out of the kitchen having cooked a curry for my family and looked like I'm wearing my pyjamas. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, I, I've been covering up my roots with brown mascara, quickly curled my hair because it looked like a straw. A haystack had gone off, you know, a blown oh, up. Oh, shut and, up. Um, but if you'd have seen that video, that video is better than that, better than this interview. I mean, this interview is great, but we were that was ridiculous trying to get it was trying to get hysterical. <laughs> positioned. We <laughs> up, up, because we were trying to find the light. We were like, oh my god, you know, my bags, my face, my hair, the right, my, oh. yeah, <laughs> your right your, place uh, in the uh, room. Oh, flowers, the background. Yeah, Shelley. You, I just said Shelley looks like she's on like. Daytime TV or something. Yeah, I, she I, likes like, it. I, I got a candle ready. Forgot to light it. <laughs> Organized. Yeah, I set it up. To be fair, you you remember to light yours. I didn't remember yeah. to light mine. Oh, I was here like for hours now, like shitting <laughs> oh, myself, I literally. I, I even put my contacts. She's gonna go in in a minute and start like you know. <laughs> Do the makeup. She's got the makeup well, artist I, there. She's got the hairdresser. I've done that. Done my that. kids. My kids don't recognise me. They're like, "Who's that?" <laughs> Is there any aspects of Madam here that you identify with at all? Um, <laughs> I, I, the, the only thing is I, I won't I won't take any nonsense. I, I I used to I used to put up with a lot from people. Um, now, obviously, older married with kids you know and I would not want them to go through any bullying or anything that I went through and I just won't take any 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 nonsense for anyone and I teach them to do the same I try to help them to be you know vocal when someone is being mean to them um rather than physical and I think I would if if I'm anything of Lara it would be um that that I, I can take care of myself but um Anything else? No, I'm not at all adventurous. I would never wear shorts with these legs, um, <laughs> and and I, anything that's slightly scary, you know, dark, scary, and spidery, I'm out of there. So no. You, Johnny? What about you? I would say I was a bit adventurous. Yeah, you know, I do like to do things that you know, maybe sort of throw me. You know that I I I. I, I I mean, I, I think I talked about this before, actually. I, like, I've, I've travelled quite a bit, and I did do it like a zip wire mm. across um, a crocodile-infested lake. Wow! So I do like 
like to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. Amazing. I'm just, you know. I'm just, I'm just calling. I'm a celebrity now, just to just to get <laughs> you on for the next. I'm a celebrity. Hello, out and deck. Get you on that. Just see how see how adventurous you are, my lady. <laughs> I've abseiled before. Wow. Um, yeah, down. Yes. So I've done, you know, I've done a few things. I've scuba dived, I've, you know. So I've done the underwater stuff. <laughs> I'd like to go in a cage. A I'd like to go down in a cage to, to view great whites. That's that's the Ooh. only thing that's on my bucket list. I've travelled everywhere I've wanted to go and very lucky to have done everything I've wanted to do. But on my bucket list is to go down in a cage and view great whites. <gasps> I know oh I would put my pants, but I do want to do it. I'll do it with you. Oh, right. do it oh together. my God, you're on, you're on. <laughs> Lara started when she was 28 with you, Shelley. Uh, she continued her adventures, and then she finally finished with the last core designs game at the age of 35 with you, Janelle. So today oh. she turns 53. I didn't know that. We're younger yeah. than her, Johnny. Yeah, hey. Wow. I thought she was 25 when I did her at 28. 25. I didn't realise she was 28 when, he, when she started. I thought she was much younger. No, she was 28. Well, in your game, uh, when, you, when you play... I was in the 30s. Uh, yes, she was 35. But I think young Lara, I need to do math here. She was born in 1968. And the young then. Lara is 1983. <laughs> so 15, I think. It's amazing because we're, yeah, we're 30. We're 30. Yeah. We were very, we were very talented, you know, five-year-olds and, you know, 10-year-olds when we recorded that. I wasn't even born then, so. <laughs> oh, Ash. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> moving swiftly on. Yes, moving swiftly on. So, <laughs> <clears throat> so uh, you know, if, if they haven't reboot, rebooted the character where she now has no age... Um, yeah. Is she, she ageless a, now? Is that she's it? pretty much, yes. Uh, she right. just have a birthday, but not birth year. Uh, so if they haven't done that and she would turn 53, she would be allowed to turn 53. What do you think she would like get up to? Would she continue adventuring or maybe? So. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think, I think when it's still in your be blood, gregarious. Think, yeah. 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 Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we're, you know, we're 50 now, but we still feel, well, I mean, I certainly do feel 19, you know, and it, it doesn't... I thought you were 30. I mean, <laughs> 30. Uh, I still feel 19, you know, and, and I don't see why it would stop such an adventurer from wanting to be, you know, go on adventures and, and get involved in trouble. And, you know, I, I, I absolutely, I think she'd continue. She might do it with her kids in tow, but yeah. um, I think she'd continue. Yeah, exactly. I think she yeah. can do as well. Yeah. You know, once an adventurer, always an adventurer. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of agree with that. One. <laughs> Janelle, this one is specifically for you. <gasps> okay. Yes. Okay. Janelle, in the Angel of Darkness, the player could select various uh, dialogue lines for Lara. And oh, really? Yep. Uh, so Learning she would. New thing every day. Yeah. So you could select different dialogue li lines for Lara, and they offer different mood and tone, the way she would pronounce stuff. Uh, what was experience getting run through the same kind of scenes, but with different responses? responses even well, religious. like I say, I, I've only really seen it recently. Um, so, you know... I, I can't really sort of comment on that. All I know is that in The Angel of Darkness, she was much, much moodier. I mean, she was a totally, you know, different Lara to The Last Revelation. And, you know, she's much more sort of happy-go-lucky. You know, she had a much harder, Celia edge. Um, but, I mean, I, again, see, I wasn't really aware until just recently about that the whole, like how she, you know, you went to a certain level, you could get a different... Lara, that that's that's news to my ears. It's not I, exactly I different, read. Lara. She could say, like that unsavory little rant is one of yeah. the choices you could get when you talk. So to So she the was character. just in like different scenarios, so you could. What, uh, no, what it's it? like, like you pick? you approach the character, and the way you talk to him, you can select which kind of line you will give, and depending on that, you could either unlock different pathway 
or you could get like gun from the unsavory later on, for example, um, and stuff like that. So th there is one one instance where she could actually get killed by the guy if you select wrong line. Uh, so there there are choices there. They so try to was, make it. Was it random, or you could sort of you could decide her fate? You could select. But then again, that would have been you going in. You would have just said the lines they told you to say and exactly. say them in a certain way, and then you leave the rest yeah. up to the, the people I who are making have the game. I would have like no. when I was recording it that that's what was going. That that's what they were going to do with the lines. We just recorded the lines for the story, the premise. But just mm -hmm. for your for you to no again, Laris, no. <laughs> So just for your information, when you said that, you know, that she was moodier, that's because she died in Tomb Raider Last Revelation. <laughs> so she was a bit moody by that. And then she was resurrected, which is an unseen cutscene that was not released. Until she's so complicated. Finally. Yeah, she's very. She was resurrected. So and then, yeah, and then she was like quite pissed off by that. And then she was, her friend got killed and she was trying to clear her name whilst also murdering like half of Paris. Uh, so, yeah, that's yeah. Lara for you. Yeah. Uh. You see, Ash, you just know so much more about her than I do. <laughs> it's normal. You're an actor. You might. And it was a long know. time ago. It was yeah. a long yeah. time ago. Long time ago. Yesterday. Yeah. I, can't, I can't remember what I recorded last week, you know, so <laughs> to remember 25. That's why I wish I had a documentation of it, to, to remember what we did 25 years ago, 20 years ago for you. If we could have only had a video there and yeah. while we were recording it. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, Curtis Strength. In Tomb Raider the Angel of Darkness, Lara for the first time has an adventuring partner voiced by Eric, R Eric Loren. Lovely uh, Eric, so yes. Did you get to like bounce off each other when you were reading the lines? Because for you it was also the first time in Tomb Raider games we actually sat with other actors. So how, what, what was it like? Well, he was really easy to get along with. And, and actually, talking about Eric, I only recently just saw his interview. Was it with you, Ash? Was that the video interview or was it audio interview? It was a video. Then it's you? not me. No, oh. it was when we were recording Tomb Raider's Dark Angel Symphony. He was there and it was recorded by Taranete, my big friend from Croatia. So, yeah, uh, I was there in the room, if that counts. <laughs> was it Trin? Is it Trin? Yes, Taranete. Ah, yes. I was so touched by his response when you asked him about our chemistry actually because he was so sweet so, so generous um but yeah he was a dream to work with so easy to get along with um yeah just a very generous actor um you know we and we had you know quite a few scenes together and yeah he it was no we, I think we really did have a sort of special bond because um, it was her first bit of love interest. And it was a bit of a will they, won't they. And, you know, I think we had quite a giggle over it. Did they? Did they? They didn't. Oh. But it was kind of left open-ended. Right. Um, you didn't know what was going to happen. Um, no. no. So do you, would, would you think that he's a boy? <laughs> what, what was he like? Boyfriend, Her boyfriend. Yeah, what would you think that he would be? What, for Lara? XO, XO, Gossip Girl, yes. Oh, yes, definitely. I think they probably did get it on, don't you? I don't know. I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she would have done or she might? She, I don't know, because she's so kind of like steely, isn't she? And set in her way, she doesn't have time for love. I don't, I don't know, but then... There is kind of sexy, some some. sexy scene in there where he's disarming her, which is oh, kind yes, of Oh, yes, no, there is, isn't there? Yeah, you're right. So oh, She's got to have some. She's, she's got to be human, some. isn't she? Yeah. She's so human. Got to get some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have a bit of action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get the strength, the womb raider. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I might cut that Don't out. Don't put um, that in. Shelley, uh, yeah. what about you? You also had a few dialogues uh, in Tomb Raider 1 with multiple characters, like Larson, Natla, and stuff like that. Were you I, in the same room? No, I didn't meet, I didn't meet anybody. And uh, nobody knows who voiced Natla. I can't remember. I keep getting asked all the time. Nathan McCree can't remember. 
Nobody can remember who voiced it. I didn't do any scenes with anybody. I, I came in, I sat for my five hours and I left and I was, it was just me, me and five people kind of shouting directions every now and then. But um, no, I didn't meet anybody. Oh. So lovely. Oh. So lovely. Yay. Looking back, uh, were you both aware how popular the classic original Tomb Raider games made by Core Design actually were and how like popular Lara that you guys portrayed is still no I I um I had a little taster when I was in America doing uh doing some short films in uh, I'm gonna say 90 I'm gonna say 99 um and um it, it was there that I learned how popular she was from the crew boys the boys on the crew the American the 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 New Yorkers on the crew um but it, you know so I thought okay she's quite successful but it wasn't until joining Twitter that it just, I, I could not believe, I could not believe the fandom and it was still going and still growing. And it wasn't until I joined Twitter that I, could, that I found out how, how massive it was. Massive, yeah. it's unbelievable. And the love for the classic games, it, it's, quite, it's quite extraordinary. I have, um, there's a little fan called Emily, who I'm, I'm gonna roughly, I can't remember her age, seven or eight. And uh, she comes to comic cons and oh. she drives for seven hours to come to see me at a comic con. And I mean, that, she's, she's a huge fan of the original Lara, you know, the first game. That's incredible to see in a seven, eight year old, you know. Um, it's wonderful that it touches all ages. But shout out to Emily. Hi, Em. Oh, hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Um, hi. She's lovely. She comes with her dad and uh, it's just amazing. It's touched all ages. But I had no clue till I joined Twitter. No, I would if I hadn't joined Twitter, I still wouldn't know. I think I probably um, felt it when I went and did E3 um, in LA, and um, I had to do a live Q and A in front of like the TV companies, like MTV were there, and you know there was um, Cartoon Lara on the big cinema screen, and I was in this tiny little booth behind with one of the guys from IDOS, you know, because I was doing this live Q&A, so I didn't know what was going to get thrown at me. So, you know, there was obviously going to be some techie questions. So, you know, if it got to those, then I'd have the guy in my ear, sort of like, you know, feeding me the lines kind of thing. Oh my God. It was so, I mean, it was like being thrown to the lions. Did, did anything go wrong? <laughs> did anything go wrong? That you didn't understand uh, no, the question? It okay. No, it all went okay. I mean, some, you know, there was, you know, some questions that were, you know, I suppose to her obvious attributes and, you yeah. know, what have you. But, um, you know, it was good for me because I could see the audience. So I could literally pick people and he go like, you know, that guy at the front, you know. Fantastic. With, with the glasses on and, the, you know, and I go, you know, I say, hey, you. Yeah, you, I can see you looking at me. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> have you got a question? Yes, you. And that I, I was really nervous because you know it was literally like television crews there and you know wow. the hacks and you know so yeah but that's when I you know realized how big it was I yeah. suppose. I, I, I didn't have any of that I didn't have to do anything anything like that and Johnny that's the beauty of being a voiceover artist isn't it for us because we don't really yeah. enjoy being in the spotlight no. anymore so no. we can literally we turn no. up to a studio and hide away and it's just our voice we It'll are be... so used to being behind the scenes and oh, like literally it. being ushered into a, you know a small booth yeah and no one can see you apart from yeah. the producer and the engineer mm. you know there are those odd occasions aren't there when there might be some advertising yeah. agents and people around so there's yeah. might be a room of 10 or so but yeah. generally it you are there on your own that's yeah it's uh, and we, we love that away. yes that's what I love Get about on the job. With what yeah. you're supposed to be doing and yeah. and not have to think anyone's got their eyes on you yes so yeah we are a bit out of our comfort zone doing yeah this obviously. this is a rarity Even we have done presenting and we have done some tv work and we've been yeah. on stage and what have you it's yeah. still still you still get that little yeah <laughs> Yeah, but the, these days, this is rare for us to be on camera. Yeah, very so rare. Janelle, yeah. Janelle, Janelle, do you want to do your singing now? <laughs> you promised. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I can't even remember what sort of songs I used to Just sing. Just anything, such a long time something, since I... I don't know. Simply the breast. 
Simply yeah. the breast. <laughs> <laughs> Better than all them tits. Yeah. <laughs> That's I what I think. think. What did I used to sing? I, I used to like I used to like Chrissy Hind. Um, oh, brass in pocket. Go on. I got brass in pocket. I got news kids. Sorry, I got something. I don't know, I'm not doing it. That's amazing. <laughs> Amazing! I never heard Lara sing before. It's weird. Oh, uh, you were saying you both registered on social media now, like Janelle on Instagram, you on Twitter, Shelley. How is your experience with fandom? Really, really positive, and um, I've just been a bit overwhelmed, really, um, that everybody has welcomed me mm. in you know such a beautiful way, and you know. It, you know, like you say, Shelley, everybody's got their stories to tell you and they yeah. private message you and, you know, it really, it really does touch you, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I uh, mean, I had absolutely no idea there was such a big fandom. I'm, yeah. you know, still shocked by it. Yeah. Um, people, are, people are lovely. There's, you know, yeah. there's, um, there's so much love that flows back and forth and, and, yeah. and um, they can also see the love between the Laras and they can, yeah. you know, and I, I just think it's a wonderful place to be. Tomb Raider is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And the fact that it brings so many people together globally is, is phenomenal and it should stay like that with full of positivity. End of story. Yeah, I haven't felt any negativity whatsoever. Yeah. It's all just been very positive and very sweet. Yeah. 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 Uh, what are you guys up to now and what does the future hold? John, you go. Well, I mean, this week I've, I've done a few promos. I'm sure Shelley's done the same. Yeah. Um, I've been working for a few different TV stations. Um, I did Channel 5. Um, I've done some ITV. Yeah. Um, what else? Um you know, that's funny you say that. I remember coming downstairs in an apartment in Liverpool when I lived with my lesbian, and she would be going through the channels, and I'd be like, some, there would be like adverts going, I'm like, oh, that's Shelley Blonde, Lara Croft. Oh, that's Jeanette uh -huh. Elliott, Lara Croft. <laughs> I, I, I remember you know, that I, happened. When I, st when I still hear Johnny, like if I, I, might be, I might be driving, I might be in Tesco's, I might be, you know, upstairs dancing, and I'll hear Johnny come on the radio, and I always record it and go, I can hear you, I can hear you, and I send it to her. No, she um, does. She does. No, yeah. We, we do. I, we do. When we hear each other, we sort of, like, send a little message. We still get yeah. so excited. It's cute. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I've started, yeah, I, I, I'm the same as Janelle. I've done a bit of radio this week, a bit for Global. Yeah. Yeah, we share the same. We share the same agent, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, they're do. brilliant. Um, and I've been doing the same promos yeah. again. Yeah. ITV Channel Five Discovery did yeah. a little gig with my daughter this week. We had a little gig together. Oh, did you? Friends. Yeah, did oh, one with lovely. her. It was super cute. It's a bit of a squash yeah. in my booth, but it was fun. Oh. And um, yeah, same. With, and and for the future, just more of the same. You know, voiceovers I'm passionate about. So as long yeah. as they continue, and as long as my family are happy. That's, yeah. you know, that, that's my ambition is for my family to be happy, healthy. I'm happy with my lot, truly. I'm very yeah. lucky girl, very blessed. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I definitely agree with that, Shelley. We are yeah. very blessed. Yeah. To be doing something that we really enjoy. That we love, yeah. Yeah, with a passion. And we love you for that. <laughs> well, that is the end of our interview. Do you have any messages to our birthday girl here? Lara, happy birthday. happy birthday to you. Yeah. A long, hey, yeah. long may she reign. Hip, hip, seen. hooray. Yes. Hip, hip, hooray. Thank you, Lara, for being part of our lives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chuffed. Chuffed and honoured. <laughs> well, thank you both for being with me today. Seriously. Yeah. Thank you, Ash. It's been an absolute pleasure, Ash. Thank you Shelley, so much for having us on. I have no idea why you've done this to me. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Because she's the one. Why don't you do this Zoom interview? Like, blah, blah, blah. Wait, yes. You, you you got the two of us together, and people have been clamoring it for so it long. It was and... you who got you two together. Yes, <laughs> I was like, y yes, because I thought Janelle would not want to do it like that. Um, I, I thought she's very reserved. Well, I'm I'm hard... say no to you, Ash. You, must you do like to get hold of. Yeah, oh, she's, she's very so hard. boring, that Janelle. Oh, please. 